Heads up, a giant asteroid could be headed right this way. Welcome to Weird But True, your home planet for the weirdest stories from the post. The idea of a huge space rock colliding with Earth feels like the plot of a cheesy Hollywood blockbuster. Who could forget the summer of 1998 when moviegoers were hit with a double dose of deep impact? Ever since the comet was discovered, we've been hoping and working for the best. But we've also been planning for the worst. And Armageddon. We win, Gracie! Press it! Not to mention more recently the 2021 film Don't Look Up. I think we're all gonna die! Well, NASA has just given us one more reason to look up, with an update on the terrifying YR4 asteroid, also known as a city killer. In February, scientists predicted the football field-sized asteroid had a 3% chance of striking Earth in 2032. As panic broke out, the European Space Agency then lowered the odds to just 0.001%. So we can all breathe a little easier, right? Wrong. It turns out the moon is now in danger. New data has the odds of a lunar impact jumping from 1.7% to 3.8%. If the sh** hits the fan, the moon's orbit would be altered, leaving behind yet another huge crater on its surface. An asteroid hit could also eject space debris or meteoroids, which would be a big risk to astronauts and their equipment. And you thought being stranded in space for nine months was rough. I see the woman with the wild hair, good solid head of hair she's got. Thankfully, it's looking like YR4 will spare us Earthlings. Our atmosphere is no stranger to small asteroids, roughly the size of a car, which frequently burn up in the sky. They've recently been spotted in Serbia and the Philippines. Medium-sized asteroids strike Earth once every few centuries, causing significant local damage. Thankfully, the odds of a large planet killer making impact are much lower, once every 500,000 to 1 million years. So mark your calendars for December 22nd, 2032. The Earth will likely be fine, but for the moon, Christmas could be canceled. For more Weird But True news, subscribe to the New York Post on YouTube.